What up everybody and good morning. It is now 3.30 in the morning. Last you guys saw, the four of us were all working on that duck blind. It is now the next morning and I'm going back over to Brian's house and gonna meet Spencer and Brian there. And we're gonna go duck hunt and test out this new blind. And I'm super excited. So Spencer usually would be with me riding over to Brian's but He's running a little late this morning, and he's gonna meet me over there. Hopefully it's a successful day. And when I mean successful, I'm talking, get the boat out there, get everything all blinded, and it looks good, and we're sitting good, and all that good stuff. Not necessarily meeting birds, because, I don't know. Maybe we'll get our first bird, first duck of the season today. That would be amazing. So anyways, stay tuned. See you all at the next spot. And get ready to see this duck boat lined in action for the first time ever. All right, see you there. Let's go, first bird of the season, down. Let's go. Middle first, of the flyway. First bird. We don't even have decoy set up. Sorry for the abrupt start of this day, but we ended up running late. We just got here threw the blind up, and I don't even think we need decoys right now because they're just flying. So we're just gonna hold off on decoys and see how many we can get before they settle down. First bird, baby. First bird down, that's crazy. Beautiful. Did Jace's phone fall in the water? A duck just flew by you guys. He's shooting this yeah, It yeah. was right in front of you. It's on that side though, but it's okay. They're gonna shoot him. Three, two, one, zero. Yeah, you guys need to stop. The man's phone hung in the balance. Oh, I feel like I'm in hanging in the balance right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, they got him. That's pretty long. Man. They, they, ca they called him back in. Yeah, he did. He came. Come. Really, the otter population on this river is absolutely beautiful. It's very healthy. Can't see them right now, but... One thing bad about the otters is they're about to steal our duck. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why we're getting a move on here. All right, there it is, folks. We had to make a trip across the water to pick up our duck from the attacking otters that were on their way, but... Here we wow. Go. First uh, fire mountain bird of the season. We got ourselves uh, what Beautiful. looks to be a spoon. See that spoon, spoon bill? bill? What are they called? Uh, sh uh, what's it called? Shoveler. It's a hen. Shoveler hen. Shoveler wow. Hen. Shoveler hen. That Beautiful. Beak. Huge beak. Let's yeah. see that wingspan. Do people like to shoot spoonies? I hear there's a lot of controversy on the spoonies. Oh. People will be like, oh, I don't shoot spoon bills, but we shoot. Everything. Wow, yeah, that's beautiful. That beautiful color. Oh, yeah. First bird of the season. That's, that's her some. right there. Nice meat. First fire mountain duck. What a beautiful hen. All right, we got more to do. Let's go. Got him. I, I'll get it. Oh, I'll get it. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Yeah, he fell right there. He fell right there. He fell right there. We'll not forget that that angle. Yeah. Oh, there might be more. Hey, you look, to, look, look. Just oh, relax for a second. Okay. Another one? No, just pay attention. We can't do anything about that duck right now, so let's keep hunting. Okay, well, we have a kind of, but oh yeah. They won't help. Okay. Yeah. They're coming. Take the left or Who do you think got that one? I think you might. I know I hit I hit the the last shot. The last shot is what got him. So I think you yeah, did. I ripped a couple shots and wasn't seeing any results. Time at the range pays off. Dude, yeah, that's that's some thick stuff. One time. That is some thick terrain. Dude, oh my gosh, bro. For dude, what, dude. No, but I'll try it. No, I'll try it. <laughs> so, Beatty's going into the jungle to retrieve his duck. I'm wishing him luck. You're almost there. 
Jay you got here. this. This is why they need to bring waiters. We're duck hunting. These guys don't come up with waiters. Well, technically, you guys are hunting. But I'm not. I'm just the guide. The unpaid guide. No, no, no waiter but crew. He made it. He's in there. Shoot a flare if you need us there, bud. Jay says good luck, baby. He went somewhere in there. If we need to find him, we'll send a patrol. Pretty nice California morning out here, though. Another smoky California morning. Yeah. Right now it's just Jace and I because our other hunter is back there in the woods looking for his duck. And folks, that is not an easy climb. It's about as thick as it gets. Do not try this at home. When I was in Alaska, um, there was this at, at the fuel dock for the boats. There was a popcorn uh, machine, like for free popcorn in the fuel dock, little office, like where you pay. And apparently the story goes that the guy told us uh, one time it lit on fire. The popcorn machine lit on fire, and they had to, and the dude who was working literally grabbed it and just chucked it into the water. <laughs> chuck. I love how this is your go-to. Just boom. Chuck. Let it be known this is at a fuel dock. <laughs> He's oh. chucking flaming. <laughs> He's like, that is crazy, actually. That that could have been a rescue for disaster, or was a rescue for disaster. Luckily, no disaster happened. And they still went out and bought a new popcorn machine after. Got to keep popping. It was it was good. I I would have the popcorn. Is it fire? Oh, it was like a little taste of home. Decent popcorn. And they would do coffee too, free coffee and popcorn. Compliment. Oh, Jeez. I'd get along just fine over there. So as you can see, we're at a, uh, Fashion. the morning has slowed down. Birds aren't flying right now. We're thinking in about another hour, they're gonna pick up. So we got Chef Beatty on the grill. <laughs> Look at this. Doing what I can. Boat, chilling, grill. I said yesterday, if one thing goes right today, it's gonna be breakfast. And I still managed to mess that up because I left the frying pan at home. And now we can't have eggs. Or hash browns. Or phone calls, either. And I might have oh. dropped my cell phone in the water when we were coming in this morning, Stop so going. it's probably on the bottom of the river. <coughs> it sucks. What sucks is, is I, we filmed that whole cooking video on my phone the other night. Oh. So you guys are going to miss out on our venison fettuccine that Parati cooked the other night. Damn, beautiful V's. That was delicious. And just when I say the birds stopped flying, Flying's look at this. We don't have any chance at them, but. Oh, maybe get one pellet at them. But, that's beauty. Yeah. One's all you need, right? One in the right spot. Mm -hmm. What are you cooking over there, your jacket? Mm. <coughs> that doesn't taste very good, but. So this morning, <coughs> we came in on low tide. I had to get out of the boat and push this thing across mud flats multiple times. So that's why we got here so late. We were on time. But we didn't account for the mud flats at low tide. We'll be on time. We would have been. We would have been um, made a decent time if if we okay. got, or I should say, if we all had waiters and we were just able to fly across mm, the mud flats, yeah. we would have made better time. Okay. Since I'm the only one rocking waiters that only leak. Only real one out here. My right boot is just full of water. Or only one with. Well, I got. Hey, I got a little water in that. But hey, sacrifices you make for the team. Fire him on the mountain. <laughs> this is how we go duck hunting. Halfway. Oh yeah, update on the bird. It was not found in the bushes. Yeah. Spencer went deep into those woods, and we're talking deep. It is not easy walking. You might take a second shot at it. And we really gave it a good shake, but we'll try again a little bit. Yeah, after we get some uh, fine energy. Might be, might be cooked. How do you see it? <laughs> I can't see anything but smoke and sunshine. Well, 
looks like the birds are picking up. We had a beautiful breakfast. Now it's time to shoot some more ducks. I wish we could show you guys the blind, but we're in some deep water here. So I can't get out. And go. Throw this something out. That's a wrap for uh, today's duck hunt. Yeah, let me get some. We got the first home. birds. <sighs> yeah. Beatty. Oh, we zoomed. We zoomed. Beatty had some good shooting. We just unfortunately couldn't find that other bird. We just spent oh, a little bit of time hurts. looking for it. But this stuff is like a thick. I don't even know what to describe it. A wall. Chances are that bird didn't even touch the ground. It's in the trees somewhere still. So we tried. Not good enough, but we did get this guy. Aflac. <laughs> what did we do though? Have we learned good. some stuff again. We learned a lot. Where to go, when to be there, what not to do. Another day, another million things learned. Never but uh, go without learning. We're stuff. sorry we didn't get a good uh picture of the blind boat in the water, but everywhere we were at was too deep. So we could not establish, could not get anything for you guys there. So you're going to have to stay tuned because we'll get one very soon. Tarping it up to hopefully preserve the grass that we put on it. But uh, if any of you guys have experience with putting blind grass on your boat, is it good to just fly down the highway with it blowing in the wind? Does it, <laughs> does it make it last longer if you cover it up or shoot us? Any comments, suggestions, or um, ideas, because we're always trying to save a buck where we can.